Hey there, my name is Jeff Fritz. I'm a program manager on the Visual Studio team, and I want to take a few minutes and show you all about the new debugger in Visual Studio 2017. Come on, let's go take a look. I have here the source code for our MVC Music Store demo application. And I'm looking at the home page, the, the index action for the home controller here, and I want to learn a little bit more about how this works, and I'm going to use the debugger to help me. I can see here that my index method starts off by trying to get a value from cache using a cache key and receiving a collection of albums. I'd like to take a little bit further look at that, so I'm going to set a breakpoint right here, and that'll let me take a look at some of those values before the request goes out to the cache. And then I'd like to actually take a step into this method right here, get top selling albums async. I'll take a look at the definition of that method by pressing F12. And here's that method. I'm going to set a breakpoint right here on my database query so that I can take a look at that. All right, let me start my application here so I can run it in debug mode and start interacting with my code as it's being executed. I can either click the IIS Express button up here or I can press F5. My application has started. You can tell by the change to the orange bar at the bottom of Visual Studio. That indicates that I'm in debug mode. And you can see I've got I've got a yellow highlight where my first breakpoint was. Cache try get value, cache key, and then out albums. Now I can mouse over that cache key and I can see that it is in fact trying to query the top selling cache. I can pin that to my screen here using this push pin icon and I can actually move this around. Let's put it a little bit over here so I can still keep an eye on that. Now I can continue to step into my code by pressing F11 and you can see it stepped through that and there's even a little tooltip here it shows that less than three milliseconds elapsed when it tried to get that value from the cache. That's, that's pretty fast. Now, I'm actually going to let this go to my next breakpoint. I'm going to press F5, and it's going to run ahead to my next breakpoint down here inside of my database call, and I can see it's getting ready to do this query against my albums collection in my database. And it's going to pass in um, a count number right here. It's going to try and request the first six items from my database. That's pretty cool, and I actually have down here in my locals window, I can see the count value that was passed in is 6 as well. Now, if I was a little confused as to how I got to this method, I can see on the right here in my call stack exactly the methods that my code went through to get here. And these method names that are in black, these are methods that I wrote and are in my code that I maintain. And you can see there's some external code here at the bottom that the ASP.NET framework maintains that I don't have to worry about. That's being handled outside of my application. So I can actually click back in my call stack here. If I double click on that, I can see this is the method here highlighted in pale green that triggered that call into my current method where the breakpoint is over here. So let me go back to that previous method while I'm still waiting. I can see my locals indicates that the albums collection is null. You know what, I'm gonna grab that albums collection and I'm gonna pin that as well. And I'm gonna put this over here so I can see that. So now if I press F11 again, my database method finishes and now it's going to return and now if I let that method finish executing, I can see my albums is being set with the results of that database query. And in fact, if you look at my locals window down here, my count now equals six. The albums is a collection down here. And I can see also in my pinned item over here that my albums count equals six. And I can open that up and I can see more information about those albums in here. I just learned a little bit about how my application fetches data from the database and puts that data into cache by using the debugger. There's lots of other hotkeys and tips and tricks that you can use between the locals window, the watch window down here, the call stack, 
I encourage you to check them out using the new debugger in Visual Studio 2017.